Hello everyone! Happy Monday! I know what day it is! And also, I know I just did Facebook Live, or I think I did two Facebook Lives like yesterday. But I had a very, very exciting day. I learned something really, really cool today. So I really wanted to share that with you and maybe we'll do a little bit of an exercise about this cool new thing that I learned and see what that might be creating for you. I am actually sitting on the floor because finally I found this kind of a thing for my phone that holds my phone here so that I can sit on the floor because I really like sitting on the floor. It's, um, yeah, I'm weird that way. Plus, you get to see the plants. Anyways, um, so um, today I went to the dentist again. It's becoming my new favorite hobby. And I, so the dentist is in Helsinki. I don't live in Helsinki anymore. So I went to Helsinki and to go to the dentist. And oh, before we go to that, actually, what happened yesterday was that I was um, facilitating the Beings of Light book club. And we talked a lot about receiving. It was the chapters about receiving. And we did a little bit of a receiving exercise, I guess you could call it. And it's always interesting to me how that book works and how it really like works on you when you're listening to it and when you're reading it. And so, yeah, we talked about receiving and guess what shows up today? Interesting thing about receiving. So, as I was saying, I was going to the, um, the dentist in Helsinki and I got into a tram and I was sitting in a tram and hello everybody and so yeah so i'm sitting in this tram and there are these two guys they were about like around 50 year old i think it was a gay couple actually and they were drunk like it's middle of the day on monday they were drunk and they didn't look like those guys who are always drunk no matter what time it is but it was more like i guess a new experience for them this daytime drinking and they were feeling very cool about themselves and sitting at the back of the tram. And I was sitting like a couple of seats away from them and um, without wearing a mask, of course. I mean, I don't really wear it. And, and I didn't realize at first, but they started judging me, actually like out loud. And I didn't realize it at first. I was just doing my thing and like, thinking about my own stuff and looking outside the window and then I realized that they because they were talking really loud and I realized at some point that oh they're actually talking about me and so I don't know what exactly were the things that they were saying in the beginning but then from the moment when I started hearing they were saying like oh like who does she think that she is like being there without the mask and oh look at her now like look she's now she's taking her phone like what does she think she's gonna do with that phone right who does she think she is all the time saying this stuff like out loud making sure that I can hear it but not talking to me directly and and then um and one of the things that they said was like why does she even like why is she here like she shouldn't be here at which point I was like, that's a good question, you know? I could have also taken an Uber or gone there in some other way, but for some reason I was just like, no, I'm gonna take the tram. It's very clear that I need to be there. So I sit there, I was like, why am I here? Like, this is a little bit unpleasant being judged like this out loud. And I noticed how much I was pulling up all the, like, the barriers and being really like, uncomfortable and really like tight and just being there like ah oh. another thing that they said oh now they said something else it's like it doesn't feel very good like uh. and then i was like what am i doing why am i being so tight about this why am i not receiving this why am i not relaxing into this and because i noticed how when they started talking about all those things i started thinking in my head what what should i reply to them and i should like justify things to them or explain something to them and then i was like why would i do that they're not making any sense they're just drunk people who are like bored or something and have nothing else to do than to judge other people 
So then what I did was that I started relaxing. Really just went like, okay, relax, Sato, relax, relax, relax. Lowered my walls and barriers and just got really present with this like, the soft space of me. The soft space that we all can be if we don't buy into the world and the city around us. And I noticed how much I'd been putting those walls up already when I was coming to Helsinki. I was like, oh, it's city, there's all these people. It's like, yeah. Instead of just being me and being present with the energy that I am. So I lower my walls and barriers and they keep saying all these judgments, whatever they have. I was just present, just looking out the window, lowering the walls and barriers more, relaxing more, relaxing more. And then I started saying in my head, I basically started pulling energy from them, like through them and to me and through me and pulling all the things that they were saying instead of going like, oh my God, like this thing, what are they saying? I was like, yes, give it to me. Please give me more. And in my head, I was saying, yes, give me more, give me more. Oh, give me more of that. Oh, that feels so good. Give me more, more, more and keep relaxing and pulling more energy from them and through me. And the cool thing that first of all, I started feeling way better. I was like, ah, oh, I feel good, it's all good. But then the cool thing that happened with these guys was that they just suddenly lost all their interest and all their energy. Like they just did this interesting thing of like, almost like, like they got like disabled. They just went like really silent kind of like shut down, not just like shut up, which they totally did, they stopped talking, but they also like shut down and went into this like, no words, nothing. They were just there like as if they were not there. So that was my story of what it is like to receive judgments and what you can do with receiving judgments and how that can actually become a huge contribution to you. Because I've been in situations like that before where somebody is clearly judging me and then whenever there's even a little bit of like resistance energy or you put your walls and barriers up, you keep thinking about it afterwards. You're like, I, maybe I should have said something, like what, what happened? And you are like, in this like, it nee, was like, nee. but now I was like, oh, that was great. That was fun, more please. So really like, that really showed me the thing that we talk so much about in Access is receiving judgments. And how much we resist that, even though it actually feels really great. <laughs> it's really strong energy, it's really intense energy that can make you, like, you and your body really alive. If you just don't have a point of view that it's a bad thing or whatever it is, or you don't buy into the things that other people are saying or thinking about you, but you're just like, oh, they're gifting me energy. This is amazing. So I was really cool. And actually what I would, then a lot of other cool things happen too, but what I would like to do with you is that look at some, like pick some person, some person who you always have this kind of thing of like that they're judging you or they have these points of view about you or you just don't like have much ease with. You always have this like eh, unpleasant feeling when you have something to do with them. I'm sure we all have people like that. It doesn't have to be someone you know very well. It could be like certain types of people that you meet sometimes or clients or something like that. So choose a person like that and like let their energy be present with you. And you're like, eh, I don't like it, but let it be present with you for a moment and relax. And everywhere where these types of people make you put your walls and barriers up and cut you from being what you actually are, will you destroy and uncreate that? Right or wrong, good and bad, but on pop on, I choose boys and beyond. Well, that was the access clearing statement. If you want more info on that, let me know. And so now you have this person there and relax all the walls and barriers that you start putting up because of that person's energy, push them down. Let them all drop. And let 
them go more down, more down, more down, and relax yourself. Relax your body, relax yourself. You don't need to explain yourself to people like this. You don't need to make them understand you. You don't need to make them like you. You don't need to make yourself okay for them. Everywhere where you're trying to do that, will you destroy and create that? Right or wrong, good and bad, but I'm not going to just boys and beyonds. Whoa. And now all the energy that they have about you or all the words that you've heard from them on all the judgments that they have, points of view that they have about you, that you know, that you can hear, that is present there, don't resist it. Instead, let it flow through you. Let it come in and let it go out. Don't hold on to it. Don't try to justify it. Don't try to make it right or wrong. Let it go through. And start pulling more energy from them. Ask for more energy from them. And pull more energy. And you pull the energy like through them. Through the person, through their body, and through your body as well. And you just let it go out without holding on to it. And you need to relax to do this. And when you let the energy go out, just ask for more. What would it take to have more energy? What would it take to not resist the flow of energy in the universe? Does it change at all? For some of you, you might sense that person in a little bit of a different way right now. And this is also really cool if you're going outside or somewhere where there are people and you can start perceiving judgments or anything like that. Just get really present with it, relax and receive it. Let it go through you. And this experience that I had, it showed so clearly how it really is just a choice between putting the walls and barriers up or not and the amount of ease that it created for me and joy and then the rest of the day has been incredible in so many ways just because i was willing to receive that judgment and be like oh thank you <sighs> so what if you were willing to receive judgments too? One thing that we always say in Access is that every judgment that you receive, you make, I think it's like you make 10,000 more that year. Oh, I don't remember the amounts, but you make a whole lot more money that year. And every judgment that you resist, you lose that amount of money. So for some of you that might explain your money situation. Cool. So. Thank you so much, everybody. I really invite you to explore what it would be like to receive judgments and have ease with that. Because really, it's judge, every judgment is just a lie. It's not really true. It's just a lie that somebody is trying to tell you to control you. And what if you we just would let go of all the judgments altogether? Have no judgment of yourself, of anyone else. But just be that happy idiot who receives everything and gets to have everything. <sighs> I would love to live in a world where we were not making judgment real or true anymore. I also noticed that uh, if you know Sylvan Jones, he's actually doing a class about receiving judgments. It might be today, it might be tomorrow. It's nearby anyways. So that might be something that you want to consider if you want to learn more about receiving judgments. and. Um, how kind can you be to you by never resisting anything ever again? Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on another video class or somewhere else. Bye bye!